Sorry, excuse me. Is it you, Hatstone123? It's me, Lucy. Leave me alone. You must think I'm mad. I'm meeting someone here at 11.30 at night in the middle of London on a blind date. Well, that's taken for you, isn't it? Are you sure you're not Mr. Hatstone? I hate getting stood up. Started off with Match.com and then just got a bit more desperate. Every single time I go on a date and there's nobody there. And I see them the other side of Leicester Square and they're eyeing me up. And I'm thinking, they're doing a bunk. Or they're the other side of the platform at Waterloo and they're dodging a train. So eventually I just moved on to dodgier sights. Well, for a person who hasn't had a lot of luck like me, there aren't a lot of security checks. And this chap I'm supposed to meet, I call myself Lucy. He made some funny requests before we met. He asked me to tell my friends and family that we were going away on a religious retreat to Australia for a month and that I wouldn't be able to phone them. Then he asked me to bring along this stuff. You don't think he wants me to clean his flat on our first date? <laughs> or perhaps it just means that he sees a chance of real commitment. Or do you think he might be a bit, you know, kinky? I don't even know why I'm talking to you. You just seem to have one of those faces that you know you can trust. I tell you what, if this guy doesn't get here, Starbucks is still open. Why don't we just, you know, go for a coffee or something? He doesn't look like he's going to turn up anyway. He's obviously done a bunk. Come on. No. Can we go for a coffee? No. Leave me alone. I didn't mean to. Just, just leave me alone. I'm sorry. Come back. Excuse me. Are, are you Lucy? Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Did you bring the staff? Yeah, the staff. Great. I've, uh, I've booked a room. Should we go? Okay, yeah. I love a mystery date. gonna piss on that lamppost. Yes. If there's any pissing on lampposts, I'll be making a citizen's arrest. Fuck off. Oh yes. Poor oh, Nelson. The things he has to stare at. Bendy buses. Bendy buses. Even the buses are gay. That plinth there. He had a statue of a naked, disabled woman on it for three months. In my day, to be a statue in Trafalgar Square, you had to be three things. You had to be a man, you had to have killed at least a hundred foreigners, and you had to be wearing clothes. Now there's no respect. Is there sex in my boy? Fuck Is off. There? Yes, you run off. 
warm enough, laddie. I'll be watching you. Bollocks! A man who pisses on lampposts has a fundamental lack of respect for society. Is that the time? Our wives are going to kill us. Watch the master, mate. Watch the master. Hi, Carol. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to be late. Where am I? No, I'm not in the pub. No, I'm stuck on the tube. What's that noise? No, babe, I'm stuck on the tube. It's a terrorist threat. No, I'm all right. I'm, I'm with Phil. Hello, Carol. No, we're going to be all right. No, I, I don't, I don't think you're being selfish, darling. I'll be home soon. Mrs. wants me home sharpish. Val, sorry I'm late, uh, but something's happened. Yeah, our tube got attacked by gay terrorists. Yeah, yeah, our gay dar. I'm fine. Terry had his head blown off, but um, I'm helping him look for it. Fuck quit. What did I do? What the fuck was that? I was just having a laugh with Val, that's she's, all. She's going to tell Carol, Carol's going to know. Yes, you. I said I'd keep an eye on you, didn't I? You're trying to jump off the bridge, aren't you? What do you think you're doing? Leave me alone. That's, you, that's very selfish. That's littering, that is. How do you think a swan's going to eat something as big as you? Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs>